Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of my family dynamics legacy challenge in reverse. So Andrew is just waking up. He did sleep out here all night long and I am shocked he did not freeze to death. But he is kind of stinky so I think the first thing we should do is come inside and take a nice hot shower since I'm sure he is freezing. Um, and then we are struggling for money, so I do see we have a collectible over here. We're going to go right ahead and dig that up. And today is actually Winterfest in the game, so honestly, I feel like he wouldn't really be in the holiday spirit because, you know, he's still grieving the loss of his girlfriend. However, you know, we do need to master both the gourmet cooking skill and the regular cooking skill if we're going to make ambrosia to bring Kenzie back to life. So one of the holiday traditions is to cook a grand meal. So I do think we should do that so he can get some practice since he needs to master his cooking skills anyway. Um, but we need money to be able to cook, so hopefully we can get some money from this collectible. Do we have anything in our inventory we can sell? No. Okay, so we got a minnow, and it sells for $6, so that wasn't very helpful. We also got free earbuds, but nothing really much we can do with that. Um, I don't know if I want to try to summon Kenzie or not because we do have the option to call her forth, which should make her kind of present on the lot. The thing with that is I'm worried she's going to torment us and like break things like ghosts normally do. But let's see, can we actually cook a grand meal? Can we afford to? No, we can't. We need 60 simoleons. Um, Okay, well, what else can we do for money? Like, is there anything else we can... Okay, there's another collectible over here we can come dig up. And then, is there any more? Yep, there's one here we can come dig up. Is there anything else? There's this, but it's frozen. Ooh, we can still harvest it? Okay, go ahead and harvest that. And I imagine it's going to be too cold for us to fish. Yes. Okay. All right, so we just got a treasure map. Um, I think we can sell that, but we have to go into build and buy mode. We got some upgrade parts. Okay, so we now have enough money to officially make a grand meal. So we will definitely do that as soon as he's done harvesting this sage. Um, dislikes gardening, I'm gonna say no. And he acquired the gardening skill. Okay. All right. So you are hungry. That's perfect because I actually need you to come make a grand meal for us. So let's go ahead and we will make a grand breakfast, I guess. With, well, tofurkey is cheaper because we have the sage. So we might as well make that so we can save some of our money. So... Let's do that. It's not like he's a vegetarian. Well, <laughs> even if he was a vegetarian, I guess the tofurkey would be the right choice, wouldn't it? I wish we could catch the butterflies like you could in The Sims 3. They're so pretty. Oh, and we got some lemons we can come harvest. Who is this walking around in like a little Santa Claus outfit? Ooh, okay, Nina, I see you. Okay, so his cooking skill is non-existent, so this grand meal might not come out the best, but at least we are working on it. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward why he does that. Oh no, our um, thing is like glitched inside the cabinet. I wonder if I can fix that. Because the cabinet's supposed to disappear when you put this inside. That actually looks really good. Hopefully it comes out good quality because I really don't want 
a poor quality turkey, but we'll see. Ugh, poor quality, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, let's go ahead and drag that into the fridge. He's going to collect the lemons, but I want to see, is it supposed to be glitched like that? Why is it like that? See, like, huh, okay. I'm so confused. Okay, so if we put it in this counter, it doesn't go in it doesn't glitch. If we put it in this counter, it does glitch. Okay, so we're just going to have our stove there then, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's because of the stove top. I, I really don't know. Oh no, he has to pee. Please don't pee yourself. Ugh. He's doing the potty dance. All right. Get your lemons. All right, can we do anything with these? How much do they sell for? $24, let's go ahead and sell those. We will sell that. And then I would like to sell this treasure map as well. So, oh wait, I have to put it in the world first, duh. Okay, let's go ahead and put it down and then I will go ahead and sell it this way because apparently you can't drag it and sell it in your Sims inventory, which is, infuriating but okay and he's hungry so go ahead and grab some leftovers of the nastiness that you made get leftovers there we go And we need to open presents, meet with Santa, put up decorations. I really don't know if he would be in the mood to do any of those things. Um, maybe we will call forth Kenzie and see if she wants to celebrate with us in her ghostly form. That looks so terrible. Okay, so he's definitely going to get a moodlet about how terrible the food is. And he's angry from being erratic. Okay. All right, well, when you're done eating, let's come out here and call forth Kenzie and see if she would like to join us on this winter fest holiday. <gasps> oh, look! There she is, and she's all blue, which means she's sad. Oh, now she's happy. Um, ghosts, if you don't know, they do turn the color of their emotion so we're definitely going to give her residence keys because this was her house um we got the house together before she passed away so she should already have them let me drag the plate into the sink for you and of course she's dripping puddles everywhere because she did drown i want to see if we can get her to join the household so I think we would complain about Winterfest because we would say like, you know, it's just not the same without you here. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to be happy and celebrate a holiday when you're you're just not here with me. Um, and then I would really like it if we could get her to join our household. I'm not sure how close they need to be, but I feel like they're pretty close, so hopefully we can do that soon. Let's tell... Hmm. We can ask her to pursue her dream job? That must have came with the update. That's so cute. Okay, um... Let's get to know her a little bit, and we can give her a gift. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and give her the earbuds. I wonder if we can take a photo with her because I know that gets their fun up super fast. We can take a photo with her. Okay, and we're now good friends. 
All right, so that is good progress. Oh, you guys, look how cute. Okay, so they're gonna have a picture of the ghostly form of Kenzie. I love that. Okay. Um, okay, no, I don't want you going in the house because I just know you're gonna haunt and break everything. Uh, we're good friends now. Does that mean we can ask you to move in with us yet? Oh, did, did I just see asked to be best friends? Because that would be great. Friendly. Ask become best friends. Yes. Do it. You're my best friend. You're my first love. You're my everything. Oh, you guys. Oh, and they got a sentiment, so let's go ahead and check what it is, and it says, if we open the sim profile, they're deeply connected, best friends, and lovebirds. Okay, um, did we not give you residence keys? Let's do that interaction again. We are happy from having a new best friend. All right, so she now has a key, and I would really like it if we can ask her to move in, but I'm not sure if the interaction's going to be there, but I'm going to check. Let's give her a hug. Okay, so they are practically, if we look at their relationship, like they're practically maxed on the friendly and I'm still not seeing the option to ask her to move in. So I'm wondering if it's under romance. Um, let's go ahead and do a kiss under the mistletoe because it is Winterfest, so we can be a little bit festive. And then is there any, let me see. Look how cute. Aww. Okay. I really want her to move in with us and I'm just not seeing asked to be girlfriend because she should have already been your girlfriend. Okay, so he actually had a pretty good winter fest it looks like, so I'm just gonna hide that. Um, and then, is there anything else we can do? Let's see. You can only marry ghosts in your household? Well, how do we get her to join the household? Ugh, I don't like that. Okay, you guys, so I really don't know how to get her to join the household. I'm just not seeing the interaction, so maybe we will give that a break for now and try again later, but we do have some money in our inventory. So I would like him to come cook another grand meal and we are going to make a, I guess the cheapest option, which would be a grand breakfast. And hopefully it doesn't come out poor quality. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. But, Stop talking to her and go cook, please, because we really need to work on your cooking skill. I wonder why he wouldn't just go in through the back door, but okay. Okay, so we are level two of the cooking skill. So that's actually really cool that I guess when we work on the gourmet uh, cooking, it does our cooking skill. I could have swore it used to be a different skill, did it not? Because you have cooking and then you have, I fought gourmet cooking. I don't know, we'll figure that out eventually, I'm sure. She is grabbing some of the poor quality food that we just made, so she's probably not going to like it, but all right. 
She's gonna leave puddles everywhere. <laughs> okay, let me drag this closer to her so she can eat. Okay, so he officially got credit for um, Festive Spirit and all of these things, so that's great. He is at least going to have a good holiday and not have a bad one. I know I probably shouldn't, but I'm so tempted to throw away this poor quality and keep this one because it's normal quality. But we're so low on cash, I don't know if we should go um, throwing away food. I do want to hang up their photo somewhere though, so I feel like maybe on his bedside he would have a photo of them. It's too bad we don't have a photo from when they were alive. I might um, take some photos and put some in with her from when she was alive because that would be nice to have. Um, but there we go. This Which one is the best quality? We have nine, nine. 12 and 11 so i'm gonna keep the one worth uh 12 simoleons and sell these and then because he doesn't have a um nightstand yet it's just gonna go on the wall until we can get him a little nightstand and we will frame it in silver because he's got like the gray vibes going on um and then what else can we do we really need to start working on the mixology skill as well, but again, we just can't afford it. And someone, we got another Santa just walking around the village. Okay, did this come with the updates? They must have updated everybody's winter wear, maybe. That's so cute. Okay, I really like that. Um, all right, well, I feel like we can't afford a mixology table just yet. Can we harvest this? Yeah, go ahead and harvest that. Um, and someone did bring to my attention that working in the freelance career isn't really being a self-employed um, person because even as a freelancer, you are still working for somebody. So I am going to have him go at, ooh, frogs. I am going to have him quit his job and I guess to make money we're just going to have to write and then self-publish books because he's supposed to be a self-employed writer. So let's go ahead and quit our job. I'm going to sell the sage and did we get a good frog? We got a common frog. Are you sure Andrew should quit? Yes, go ahead and quit. And then we need to work on his mixology skill just a little bit. So I feel like he would go to the bar. Um, I don't know if there is a bar in this world. So let's see. You know what? We do actually live right next door to a bar called Elixir and Brews. So let's head there and see if we like it. And if we don't like it, I will just go ahead and switch out the lot off camera to a bar we actually like. All right, so we got a little bit of a bar situation over here. We got some tables, we have a microphone um, and some bathrooms. Okay, so kind of casual. It looks like a small town bar. I kind of like it. So let's come order a drink. Um, and we will order i'm gonna have him do the cheapest so we'll order a sweet and spicy just because um i know this isn't actually working on his mixology skill i do think it gets him to know the recipe though 
but I'm trying to like develop his story a little bit of how he kind of becomes a little bit he forms kind of a drinking habit in the process of mourning his dead girlfriend just being super sad he kind of turns to alcohol to quiet his woes so that is what we're trying to develop right now oh another ghost we have so many ghosts in this series felix okay Did we get our drink yet? Come on. So slow. Are all of the... I, I'm pretty sure she's a spellcaster, so we definitely got some spellcasters, which makes sense because we're in the spellcaster neighborhood. And look, our dead... Like, we're just trying to get over her. You know, we're, we're in here, we're drinking, and she just haunts us everywhere we go. We just can't get over her. She's constantly, like in our mind, in our thoughts, and she followed us to the bar. I didn't even tell her to. Is it ghost night? Did I get a notification? Because there's just way too many ghosts here. And yes, it is ghost night. It says the afterlife can be tough. Um, come tell the local bartender all about it and enjoy some discounted liberation. It's ghost night. Okay, so that explains why there's so many ghosts up in here. We have Rochelle. We have... Felix, and then we have our dead girlfriend. So let's come. I guess we can go ahead and try to get close with her again. I really don't think there's an option to get her to move in with us. If you guys know how to do it, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm just kind of at a loss. But we can work on our romance just a little bit with her, and maybe that will help our situation. Um, let's whisper seductively to her. Is this another ghost, Chloe? Chloe actually looks cute for like a um, for somebody I didn't make. Or put in the game she I love I love her hair I want to introduce myself to her because maybe she could be a friend of Kenzie maybe we bring more than one girl back from the dead <laughs> and this could be like a best friend for Kenzie I don't know but she's really pretty I like her okay do we know her now yes we know Chloe okay Come over here and I want you to embrace your girlfriend. I mean, honestly, it makes sense of all places to have a ghost night that it would be in the bar in the witching world. So I'm not complaining. I don't know if I've ever played with like a ghost night in the bar before. So this is really cool. We got Kamel over here in ghost form as well. Look at all the different color ghosties, you guys. I love this. It's like Kenzie's like, you want to meet my friends from the other side? And he's like, are you, uh, are you sure? Like kind of scared meeting ghosts. And then she just introduces him to all of these dead people. <laughs> um, okay, let's invite her to stay the night. Um, we'll go ahead and we will give her a... Hmm. We'll kiss her cheek. Oh, she does want to do a sleepover. Awesome. Okay. And let's go ahead and hold her hands. Okay, so he is really, like, sipping this drink. It's taking him forever to finish, and it's such a tiny drink, but okay. Let's go ahead and head home with our dead girlfriend. We'll be like, thanks for introducing us to your friends, but I think it's time we head home and go to sleep. So let's... Uh, we can't invite Kenzie. Hopefully she follows. Okay, and I feel like... I don't know where she is. Can we invite her over? We can't because she's a ghost. Ugh. 
We invited her to stay the night, so like she should be here, but we didn't do it on the, the home lot. We did it at the bar, so I really don't know if she's going to show up or not. Um, I'm going to have him mop up her little puddle. We'll clean this dish, and then I feel like tonight he's not so sad that he would sleep next to her grave. I feel like he might actually sleep in his bed tonight just because... We did invite her to stay the night. She said she would, so let's just imagine she is sleeping in the bed next to us in her ghostly form. So let's go ahead and do that. I should probably have him pee first. Ugh. These Sims are so needy with all of their needs. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to have him pee, and then he's going to go to bed, you guys, and I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We did have a successful Winterfest, which is great. I will see you guys in the next part, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye, everyone.